This box showed up on my front door and that can only mean one thing, it's time to eat some oysters. This is from The Real Oyster Cult and in this box, I got four different varieties of oysters. I'm gonna taste each variety and I'm gonna show you something that went really well with oysters too. Now, just to be upfront, I'm not sponsored by Real Oyster Cult or anything like that. I just really think their business model is neat and it's one of my favorite places to get oysters because whenever I get them, it's always a different kind and a different variety and they're super fresh too. They package their stuff really well and I never had an issue with dead oysters or anything like that upon arrival. That being said, as soon as you get your oysters, make sure you're inspecting them. Check to make sure the ice pack is still nice and solid and cold, and that those oysters feel cold to the touch too. This order, I got 50 Rock Reserve oysters. These are gonna be for an open house that I'm doing. I also got Mayflower Point, which are from Dennis, Massachusetts. Wild Malpac Bay oysters, which are from Prince Edward Island, right there in Canada. And the last oyster in this box is gonna be from Maine and they're called Recompense Cove Oysters. And I'm excited to try all three of these. Now, if you didn't notice, one of the common themes of all of these oysters is that they're Northern oysters. Each one of those was from Massachusetts and North. And honestly, I think I have an affinity for those kind of oysters. I like a Northern oyster, one, because I feel like the shell is a lot sturdier and they're easier to shuck, but also I feel like the meat's a little bit sweeter and with that sweetness and the brine of being in the ocean, I really love these kind of oysters. So the first oyster I'm trying out is a Mayflower Point oyster. Right away I could tell these things were really easy to shuck. My knife was able to get on that hinge and really pop it open and scrape away the meat from the top shell without any issue whatsoever. The oyster looks super plump, which got me excited because I think this is gonna be a nice, sweet, and salty oyster. Now, one of the things I love in an oyster is good umami, and normally oysters from Massachusetts have that, and this one did not disappoint. This Mayflower Point oyster was one of my favorite I've tried from the Real Oyster Cult in a while. This was a really good oyster. The next one I tried out was the Recompense Cove ones, Right away, I noticed that these things were solid, thick oysters. Now, my oyster knife is on the smaller side, and it did struggle a little bit shucking this oyster. My knife actually started to bend and flex, so if you eat these kind of oysters on the regular, I would recommend actually a bigger knife, or else you're going to break a tip or actually break the whole knife itself. Now, a lot of the times in the colder waters, like these are from Maine, so it's gonna be a colder water oyster. They actually grow slower, which allows their shell to kind of get more robust compared to the faster growing oysters of the Chesapeake Bay, especially when they're farm raised, and their shell gets a little brittle. Now, onto the taste test of this one, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this one was great. It wasn't horrible, but it was kind of flat too. You had a lot of brine, not much sweetness, and a little bit of umami. I was kind of disappointed in this one. I thought it was okay. gonna be a lot better. The next variety I'm trying is going to be the wild Malpac. Now, I have a, an opinion about wild oysters that some people share and some people think I'm crazy for. But for me, wild oysters are normally not my favorite just because it can get really tough to find wild oysters that are a uniform size. So if I go and order oysters to eat raw, I don't want ginormous oysters to eat raw. You want ones that are about three inches like this one right here. But when you're doing wild caught oysters, it can be tough to find that right size oysters. Farm raised oysters are really nice because they grow them all to that perfect size for whatever best fits their oyster. Some oysters are better when they're smaller. Some oysters are better when they're three inches. Now this Malpac oyster actually shucked really easily. The meat looked really nice. I was still excited to try this one because I do love oysters from this area where they're from, which is Prince Edward Island in Canada. And after cutting the adductor muscle and cleaning some of that grit out of the shell right there and making sure to use my knife to really loosen this oyster up from the shell. What I noticed when I was shucking this one, it was really stuck in that shell for whatever reason. So I had to loosen it all up before I could slurp it down. Now tasting this one, I could taste the brine right away. Prince Edward Island is known for that brine. It had a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of umami. I still think it's better than the Recompense Cove, but I think the Mayflower Point so far has been the best one out of these oysters. Now, the last oyster I'm trying, I've tried so many times, but the Rock Reserve oysters are one of the only two oysters I've given a perfect 10 out of 10 score on some of the videos I do rating oysters. So I always love getting these. And I got these specifically for an open house I was doing for a waterfront home down here in Southern Maryland. And everyone got the chance to eat some shrimp and of course some oysters too. Now, the reason why I love these oysters so much, because I feel like they're the perfect size, that two and a half, three inch size. They have a a good amount of brine they have a little bit of sweetness and i really love the umami they have throughout the whole bite and as far as shuckability i find them super easy to hinge shuck so that's just an added bonus not only do they taste delicious but they're super easy to open as well now, the other oysters I tried, you probably can find them in other areas, especially around where they're from, but Rock Reserve are only at the Real Oyster Cult, so you're going to need to order from them if you want to try these oysters as well. 
And like I said, after tasting these, it reminds me again, these are one of my favorite oysters by far. Now, in the beginning of the video, I told you I was going to put something special on here. I had some kimchi, and I had this idea that I was going to put some kimchi on one of these Rock Reserve oysters. Now, I love kimchi. I love the funkiness of it and the fermentation of it. And I just have been thinking that this has to go well with an oyster. I picked a real oyster cult oyster because I knew it had some good umami. And I feel like that umami and the kimchi are going to go really well together. Add that with a little bit of salt and sweetness of the oyster too. I think this is going to be a really good combination. One thing I wanted to make sure though is I didn't put too much kimchi on there because I think it has the potential to really overpower the oyster. So here we go. Here's the bite, guys. This thing was absolutely delicious. If you get some oysters, don't forget to get some kimchi and go ahead and give this combination a try. Thanks for watching and make sure you look out for the next oyster delivery day.